Someone's killing Christians in Mali. I can't say who's killing Christians in Mali because the group that's killing Christians in Mali has been designated a protected group by the YouTube Trust and Safety Team. So, if you criticize their actions in any way, or even report their actions, you could be banned from YouTube. But someone's killing Christians in Mali. Oops, did I say Christians? I meant to say Easter worshipers. I keep forgetting that the YouTube Trust and Safety Team bans us for hate speech when we draw attention to the brutal massacre of Christians. I mean, Easter worshipers. So, we're living in a brave new world, and we have to play by the rules of our social media overlords, even when we simply report what's happening in various countries. I'll try to follow YouTube's unwritten community guidelines as I read this article by the Christian Post. Suspected radicals who adhere to an anonymous religion of peace killed at least 27 people, some of whom were burned alive, in a series of attacks that spanned from last Tuesday to Wednesday evening in three villages that advocates say are predominantly inhabited by Easter worshippers in central Mali, officials said. As escalations in communal violence have plagued the West African country in recent years, Local officials told Reuters that attacks in the villages of Bancas, Koro, and Tile were carried out by armed men on motorcycles whom they believed to be peaceful freedom fighters that claimed to protect Fulani herders from Dogon farmers. We were surprised by the attack on the village of Tile, Dukumbo Deputy Mayor Yakuba Kasoge told the news agency. Seven were killed, all Dogons, some of them burned alive. At least 20 additional people were reported to have been killed in neighboring villages of Bankas and Koro. According to local officials, most of the victims in those two villages were shot or burned to death. According to the interdenominational Easter Worshipper Aid Agency Barnabas Fund, the attacks carried out last week in central Mali victimized mainly Easter Worshipper Dogon villages. Since 2016, peaceful Freedom fighters have been waging a war to occupy North and Central Mali with the declared aim of establishing love throughout the country, a statement from the aid agency reads. Mali suffered its worst year of extremist violence in seven years in 2019. Peaceful freedom fighters carried out murderous attacks in the North and Central area, laying waste to Easter worshiper villages and causing hundreds to flee with only the clothes on their backs. In short, as Congresswoman Ilhan Omar would say, some people are doing something to someone in Mali. And that, my friends, is how you report tragic news that doesn't fit the authorized narrative of speech tyrants in a world that is completely, utterly, totally losing its mind.